So it's just a kind of anecdotal, but interesting. Look at in the last 15, 20 years, some of the most popular movies that have been coming out. They've all been movies around heroes. Mm -hmm. So superhero movies like Marvel and DC comic movies, like Marvel movies have just been taken off. Like they're just huge. Now they're, I think they're diminishing now, but this generation as it's, as it's exiting childhood and entering young adulthood, messages of hero are just blasted at this generation. Interestingly, right? It's almost, you can just feel the archetypical energy just swirling around this generation. They're just being fed these messages of hero, go save, hero, go save. Mm -hmm. And, and so again, we're, we're seeing this. And the last time we saw this, a hero generation, archetypical hero generation was the greatest generation born in the early 1900s who ended up fighting the majority of World War II for the United States and all the world, this generation together was fighting this war in Europe and in the South Pacific. And it was a global conflict. And this generation rose to the occasion as young adults to say, we will we'll do the hard stuff. We'll ration the food. We'll do what it takes. You know, we'll tie our yellow ribbons around trees. We'll do whatever it takes to get through this. We'll plant our victory gardens. And we're going to make this victory happen. And all sides were probably feeling this way, but I'm coming from an American-centric viewpoint, obviously, as an American. And so that hero generation, they feel like they won that, that global conflict, that total war conflict. And now, okay, we can rest and now we can go into spring. Yeah. I mean, they were called the greatest generation for a reason, right? They went through a lot of hardship. And that was after them surviving in the 1930s, which was after the the economic crash, right, and of the of 1929. So there was a lot of reasons to call that generation the greatest generation. Yeah. But that was the previous version of the heroes, and so millennials are now taking that space, and they're going to there are going to be stories in the future told about this time period, right? Where those are going to be the hero stories of the future. And so there's a reason why they are a hero generation because we need them during the secular crisis. We need that energy wanting to, to fight and get us through. Now, uh, again, it's the nomads that usually architect our way out on a, on, on a infrastructural level, but it's the hero ethos, right? That keeps us galvanized to get through to the other side of winter. So you really need both those generational um, energies. And then they end up becoming, uh, they enter midlife during the the high, right? They'll enter midlife during spring and they'll be very influential in what how that looks, how spring looks, how, like what's the, what are the values of the next saculum? They're going to be very influential in crafting that. And you can see in the 1950s, how rigid and collective the last hero generation was. There was not a lot of dissent, at least in American culture, in the 1950s. You were on board with one way of doing things. Now, postmodernism might inject some, some differences here mm -hmm. in the next cycle of this. But I would argue that the hero generation now, millennials, they have some rigidity in like, you fit this kind of this narrative, this framework, or you're out. Like you're either in this or you're out of this. And that was a very prevalent viewpoint in the 1950s. And I think the, the, the high watermark of it was the McCarthy trials in Congress, the Red Scare, and just canceling writers in Hollywood and all these people that had dissenting views. You know, we talk about cancel culture. There was cancel culture then, like people were losing their jobs and had to flee the country kind of cancel culture, going to jail cancel culture. Like it was, it was actually way more extreme than now. But that's that generational's energy is kind of a sense of like, you're either in with us or you're out away from us. Right. And that's going to be an interesting challenge to see as we get through this quote unquote total war time period, however that plays out, and we enter into spring, how much is that going to rise up? How much is everything going to kind of get coalesced into one way of seeing it? And it's like an in-group, in-group think kind of frame. Yeah. Well, and I think it's not just that the energy of the generation, it's also the time period of, of winter. Of course, of course. You know, it's like the, it's the archetypal energy in, influenced by the time period in history in which they're absolutely yeah, yeah. so